at the age of 36 on the verge of completing a decade's worth of training as a neurosurgeon, Paul Kalaniti was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. Imagine that, one day, he was a doctor treating the dying and the next, he was a patient struggling to live. And just like that, the future he and his wife had imagined evaporated. When Breath Becomes Air is an autobiography, a chronicle of Kalaniti's life from his journey as a young medical student to neurosurgeon and finally a patient forced to confront his own mortality. It seems cruel that a man who spent a decade studying the body has to endure a death sentence, the details of which are painfully known to him. What makes life worth living in the face of death? What do you do when the future no longer a ladder toward your goals in life, flattens out into a perpetual present. What does it mean to have a child to nurture a new life as another fades away? Kalaniti's memoir is truly a work of art, entirely devoid of self-pity, taking an unsentimental and logical approach to his last days. His cadence is so moving and so exquisitely detailed that it is impossible not to respect his prodigious talent. It does not feel like the writing of a man near death, it feels like a conversation with someone who has enjoyed life and is prepared for it to end. Paul Kalaniti passed away while working on his memoir, but he has left behind a treasure that deserves to be remembered. I began to realize that coming face to face with my own mortality, in a sense, had changed nothing and everything, he wrote. Seven words from Samuel Beckett began to repeat in my head. I can't go on, I'll go on. When Breath Becomes Air is an unforgettable, life-affirming reflection on the challenge of facing death and on the relationship between doctor and patient from a brilliant writer who became both. <laughs>